Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you the, difference, the different ways you would save and import files between Canvas Workspace Online and the downloadable Canvas Workspace for Mac. So when you create a project in Canvas Online, I'll just grab a basic shape for now. And let's grab a circle. You know, and you, you make a file and you go edit and weld and you've made this new shape and you want to save it. So in the online web version, you would name the file up here in the top left and you would save it. And it would save it into your projects here. And then you would hit the download button and it goes either to your machine wirelessly or you put it on a USB and you use it that way. In the downloadable version, let's try and make the same shape. Select them both. Go to the edit icon and weld them. So I've got the same shape here. Now, with this one, you'll see there's no visible box for naming or no big box that says download because you're already using a download program. So the way you would save this now is you would go to the top of your page and you would work, go to where it says file and you would click save or you would think you would click save. Now, if you click save, you'll get a save dialog box that you're normally used to using probably in any other program that you use on your Mac. You give the, the project a name, we'll just call it test and I'll put mine say on the desktop and click save. And that file is now on my desktop. But the file isn't a file as you would normally expect to see it with an FCM file extension. The file that you have saved has saved as a Canvas Workspace project file. So basically just a working file. So if I want to actually cut this, what you have to do or what I would have to do is come back to the top of the page, go to where it says file and this time I would choose one of the two bottom options. If I've got the Wi-Fi facility on my scan and cut machine, I would use this box that says transfer FCM file via the internet. I would select that. It would say it was processing it and it would bring me up this message to say that the uh, machine is ready to download the transfer file. And I would say, okay. I would just go to my scan and cut machine, turn it on and the file would come over wirelessly as normal. If I didn't have the Wi-Fi facility, I would go back to file, I would go to export. Again, it brings you up a save box. You give the file a name, I'll call this test one. I'll put it on the desktop to show you the difference and I'll say save. Now, when I go back to my desktop, I've got my FCM cutting file, which I can drag onto a USB stick and put it in my machine and cut it. So that is the difference in how to save files between the online version and the downloadable version. Leave me a comment under this video letting me know if you want to know anything else about the differences between the online version and the downloadable version. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the like 
button under the video. Subscribe if you don't already do so. Make sure you've got the bell notification icon switched on and that way you'll always be notified when I upload another video to YouTube. And I'll see you in the next video.